y'all i want to thank you so for sending over the g1 plus indoor bike they are sponsoring today's video so this bike is literally the best alternative to the peloton for a fraction of the price and yes it does have that nice swivel screen with the excellent sound as you can see with this bike you're able to use the esau app via free casting from your iphone or droid now keep in mind you are able to use any other fitness apps if you choose due to just being able to cast it directly from your phone but on the Yeesaw app, they offer so many different types of classes for all different skill sets. It's just overall a great app and a great bike. So if you're currently on a health journey or want to check out Yeesaw, make sure to check the description box. I'll have all of the information linked down below. They did offer me a discount code. I'll have it here on the screen, but I also have it listed down in the description box. So thank you once again, Yeesaw, for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I am a Ramchata junkie, okay? They have a coconut one. Let me show you guys what I got from the specs today. Okay, so I went into specs. I'm on like this, um, I'm in this group where like they make like all these good drink recipes and I've been seeing a lot of posts about moonshine and from my understanding moonshine is like some country stuff you ain't supposed to have. So the fact that you can actually buy moonshine like in a liquor store is kind of like wow and I never had it so I was asking babe if he had had any before he was like no I don't even think I can't remember if he said he had even heard of it. So I was like, okay, I want to go in there and look for me some moonshine. So I went into the liquor store, y'all. And as I'm walking down the little aisle or whatever, they have, you know, they always have like the seasonal rum chowders. You know, we have the pumpkin spice one. We had the peppermint one. They have a coconut one, y'all. So I picked it up before I could even get to the moonshine. And this just reminds me of like the dirty sodas, you know, you can do like the Diet Coke with the coconut um, coffee creamer and then lime, y'all. So this one I'm about to try. I got the, the rum chata, I got Coke Zero, and I'm going to see if I need to put like some lime in it because you know, like I already love Coke Zero with true lime packs or whatever. So we're going to do that. But I did get some moonshine also. They had so many different flavors and... The one that really caught my attention in the Facebook group was like a, um, a blueberry one. And I didn't see that one. So they had all these other ones. And they even had like moonshine and food, and foods, infused pickles, peaches, pineapples, cherries. So that could be really good for like a dessert or like if you have like a cute shot with whipped cream, you could put like an infused cherry or something on top of it. We may start doing like a uh, Toast to Thursday episodes or something or whatever where I'm like back making drinks. But I got this one. It's the Old Smoky brand and it's the apple pie flavor. The only reason I got apple pie flavor is because it is 35% alcohol, y'all. It had the highest alcohol percentage, so that's why I bought it. I called baby and I'm like, you think we should get this apple pie kind or you got a preference of what kind you want? So, if we figure out how to drink this, then I may go back and get the butter pecan one, and they also have a banana pudding one. So, let me get the Diet Coke. I mean, the Coke Zero. So, I just got my cup with some ice. Coke Zero. Okay, I think that would probably be like enough soda, maybe. I might fill it up. Okay, and our rum chata. Oh. oh, shoot. And I just realized, like, I probably should have made this big of a thing because I'm not supposed to be drinking anything other than water when I have my um, Invisalign in. But I may just have to, cause and let me tell you guys. So I'm supposed to change my my um, trays every week. Yesterday was my day to scan, and I'll show you guys all of this. I know like it's a lot for me to update you guys on, cause I've been I fell off. Um, but I have Invisalign now, and I actually go to an orthodontist, but 
I don't ever have to go in for a visit with my orthodontist because it's like this um, app that I use to scan my teeth with this device and she checks it you know from her office and she'll tell me like okay go ahead and change your trays or whatever so yesterday was my first day scanning in I was supposed to be moving to tray two and she came back and she was like okay we're not quite there yet you need to wear this um first tray a little bit longer and she was like don't forget the goal is to wear it for 22 hours a day and y'all I had not been doing it and I don't know why I'm not getting with the program like I'm supposed to because this is the same thing that happened last time I stopped wearing my retainer I wasn't wearing it like I was supposed to I wasn't wearing it every night and then I was like oh I can go a few days and then eventually I just stopped and when I tried to put it back on my teeth had already shifted back so that's the same thing that happened the first time and here I am again years later getting braces again and I'm still doing the same thing and I'm just like I, I don't know what it's going to take because you would think as much money as it costs to get these dang braces I would get with the program but I think I'm kind of it's kind of clicking now after I was like, okay, she ain't going for the BS. Like, mm, I gotta just learn. Babe, you wanna do a taste test before I put the lime in? I'm gonna let you do it first. I haven't even tasted it yet. Mix, 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 mix. What'd you put in it? Just the soda and the um, stuff. Come on. Give your, your reaction. That's it. That's delicious. Is it? You think I should put the lime in it to cut it? If you want to, add a little. I don't know. That is good. Add a little something extra. I feel like I need a little bit more. Rum chata. I don't know why it tastes like coffee. I was like, do we have any coconut creamer? We didn't have any coconut creamer. Mmm. That's it right there. I'm scared to put this in there. Maybe just start with one. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Because I'm scared. Wait a minute now. Mmm. That is good. Now watch how they messed it up. <laughs> oh, it's just green. I thought it was lime. That's good. Taste it with the lime. Kick to it. Yes, that's, that's why I say that's like a little extra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is so good and so like summery, delicious. And then we'll keep you guys posted on the moonshine because I don't even know how you're supposed to drink moonshine. Let me call my mama. She'll know. Okay. I need to ask my daddy. That's what I need to be asking. Do you know how to drink moonshine? Do I just drink it straight? Uh, just depends. It's, I don't know. Girl, I'm scared of that stuff. That stuff is. Why? What's where, wrong with it? Where you get it from? Somebody made it? No, I got it from a liquor store. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't mess with this. So I don't know. Oh, I thought it was something you may have did back in the day. No, don't mess with no moonshine, baby. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Bye. Uh, I'm just going to ask my daddy. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, looking at Bobby's food. It's, it's not the same Bobby. This is the other Bobby where, where he's at someone else's house. So what are you about to do with that? Feed Bobby.
Okay, let's go. So this is Berkeley's chore. And this is my fish named Bobby. This is her fish named Bobby. Oh, be careful. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, mama, wait. Because sometimes they be all on this side. Okay, so how many of these do we give Bobby? How many? Three. Okay, one, two. Oh, that's enough. We gave him four. We gave him one extra. It'll be okay. Now, we're gonna put the food. I can't see the food. In here. That's the hole. Right here. Uh -huh. Bobby, come with me. I see you. My fingers behind you. Frankly, you feed him. <laughs> You're tricking him. Good job. There's your food, Bobby. Yep, they're in there. Hey, he's eating them. It's the extra one in there. Yep. All of them are. And Bobby, when he's done eating, hey Bobby, there's still more. Hmm? You don't care about that one. Look. Wow, it's one left, and then he's done. He was hungry. There you go, he ate it. Okay, so now I need to scan, do my scan for my Invisalign. I have to scan in every week to my orthodontist um, so she can review the progress of my teeth and see if I'm gonna be progressing trays or not, so. Ugh. I left out of here, y'all, I swear I have either ADD or ADHD because I literally was in there about to do my scan and I couldn't find my tripod. I'm like, I'm going to record this. I'm going to vlog today. And so I went in my office to get my tripod. And then as I was coming out of my office, Berkeley was coming out of the game room because she was looking for her purse. And I was like, oh, it's in my room. And then that made something trigger in my head where I was like, oh, let me see if Bobby's out. Because for the past two days that I've been in there, he has not been out and he did not come out like the entire time I was in there. So I was like, let me just see if he's out today because I kind of was scared thinking like he had went under his castle and, you know, um, but he was out. And so I'm like, oh, great. He's out. I was like, okay, well, we need to feed him. Mind you, I didn't did so many things. I was supposed to just be coming to get my tripod out of my office, but then I had to stop and feed Bobby. Then from there, I was like, okay, Berkeley, go get dressed, blah, 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 blah. And she wanted to wear a dress. And I was like, no, you know, I got something else for you to wear. So I went in her room and I started pulling out her clothes that she was going to wear. And I was just like, girl, focus. All of this was just, you were supposed to be doing your teeth stuff. And you needed a tripod. Then you went and fed the fish. Then you went and picked out clothes for Berkeley, huh? You see, this is why it's so hard because now she's calling me to help her do something and I still haven't got to do my braces. All right, so I got this device. You connect it to your phone. Then I open an app for my orthodontist. Oh, it's hot, man. And then I'm gonna do start scan. Audio instructions will guide you through the scan. Now remove your liners. Double tap to continue. So it's like this and you face it in the mirror to see you just... Place your phone into the phone support for this step. Bite down on your back teeth and keep your teeth together. Double tap to continue. Bite down. Shift the scan box to one side. Now 
shift the scan box to the other side. Back to the center. For this next step, you'll have to keep your teeth slightly apart and scan side to side. Double tap to continue. Open your mouth slightly and keep your teeth apart. Shift the scan box to one side. Now, shift the scan box to the other side. Back to the center. For this next step, you'll have to open wide and scan up and down. Insert your aligners. Double tap to continue. And then I make sure that I use my chewies. Because if she see that my aligners are not like set. Oh, I keep good. She will bring it up. So. Slightly apart and scan side to side. Double tap to continue. Mm. Open your mouth slightly and keep your teeth apart. Shift the scan box to one side. We're done. You can now remove your cheek retractor. Okay. Oh, it hurt right here. Okay, so I said it was successfully uploaded. And then, basically, she'll just message me once she's reviewed it. It's usually quick. Um, I was kind of worried because originally my scan was going, my scan was supposed to be done every Thursday. But one week, I had to wear my, the set I was on for an additional three days. Um because I had not made the progress that she was wanting for that week. And so it pushed it back to me scanning in on Sundays now. So at first I was like, oh my gosh, she's not gonna be replying on a Sunday since it's the weekend or whatever. But she did really quickly early, actually, because I usually scan in at like seven in the morning. It, it, it's early, maybe before seven because um i would do it before i go to work and so yeah i need to wash my hair today y'all i had not had my hair down in so long so now i just put this up i got this little bag so i like wipe it off and then put it in this little bag but this comes out and this goes in like this and you just keep it in this little bag and that's it i'm just gonna have them sitting right there because i'm actually not about to put them right back in because um i'm about to make me some coffee because i got like a slight headache um but something else that they gave me like with invisalign are these cleaning crystals and i used them for the first time yesterday because it's only like a sample pack they only give you three of these little things but you basically put them in with your aligners and some water and it's kind of like a cleaner but it had like a weird taste even after me rinsing them it didn't have like a bad taste but it tasted like really clean it tasted like fresh plastic or something it tasted like when i first got my aligners the good thing is i don't really use those cleaning crystals because this time around i'm only wearing my trays for one week at a time <laughs> When I previously had aligners, um, I had to wear my set for two weeks at a time. So before I actually got braces again this time, everyone was telling me I got several consultations because I was actually getting consultations for veneers or um, braces, a Invisalign. And 
I was only looking to get like six veneers at the front because my main concern was, okay, if I get braces again, um, I might, if I don't wear my retainer like I didn't the first time, I'm, my spacing is just going to come back. That's my biggest issue. I just have spacing issue. Um, and it's going to come back. And I was like, I already wasted money the first time I did braces because I didn't wear my retainer. And here I am having to get braces again as an adult. The first time I did it, I was an adult as well, mind you. And so I was like, I don't want to keep doing this. I feel like it's a waste of money. It's a waste of my time. I'm always going to have this issue because I didn't get like a bonded retainer the first time. So that was my main concern. That's why I went in getting a consultation for veneers or Invisalign to see which would be the best for me in my case. And luckily, like, um, everyone that I went to, they were like, you know, you have great teeth. You got great teeth. There's nothing wrong with your teeth. You just want to fix your spacing. You are the perfect candidate for Invisalign. And the first time I had my braces, I wore them probably for like a little over a year, a little over a year. So not a long time even then, um, even with it being my first time. And so this time everybody was like, yeah, girl, you probably gonna need like six months at the least. I mean, really simple. So everyone told me, no, you don't need veneers. No, you don't need veneers. And then this um, orthodontist that I came to, that I selected this time, I also, she did tell me that we would get a bonded retainer. And then she also told me that with my canines being smaller on the sides, that they could do this procedure where they put a little bit of something on the side of it so it won't open back up because the tooth is really it's not really small but it's small in comparison to my other teeth they're small for canines and so she would like to do some kind of i'm just gonna say cement because if any or y'all are dental profession professionals then y'all know what i'm talking about it's basically like a little bit of cement in between the teeth where my canines are so they will not be able to spread back open that's even and then also i'm going to get a bonded retainer as well she said i have a really hard bite so she wants to make sure that my invisalign treatment adjusts my bite and it's not super hard because if i continue to bite super hard it's going to just open my um it's going to try to open my spacing back up even with the bonded retainer and she said that that's just going to put pressure on my teeth if my teeth are bonded to the retainer and my bite is not corrected it's just going to put a lot of pressure on those teeth and then another thing that i need to get addressed too is when i got a consultation for braces when i was probably in high school they did tell me that i would have to get a i don't know i think it's called the venectomy venecta something but it's like it'll have to be a surgical a laser procedure to like get this extra skin uh like right here or something like mine comes too far down so i would have to get a laser procedure Ooh, i like it is it comfy yeah i'm going to jump away <gasps> no way that and that oh, that's the surprise oh. but i'm having another surprise what's the other surprise he 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 he, he would tell me tomorrow okay and, and it's, it's going to be oh <gasps> So yeah, that's basically what's happening with um, my braces. And I was saying all that to say that I only have to be in these for, it's a little over six weeks, six months. I think it's, it's 33 weeks, so that's like eight months actually. But it's less than a year, so I just got to stay on track and do what I'm supposed to do because at least that'll be off of my birthday next year. Now, I was just about to make some coffee, and here he go hogging the coffee machine. Luckily, though, I can give you guys an update with the spin. We finally got our new, what is it called? Reservoir. Reservoir. Water reservoir. So, this is it. It's huge compared to the old one we had. So... <clears throat> We, we don't have to fill up the water as often because literally when my mom was here, she, she got on the espresso kick and she was making them like maybe two or three times a day because she was drinking them in the morning, 
at midday and before she went to bed. And so between three of us, cause I'll get in these little kicks where I want coffee. So between me, Charles and her, we were literally having to replace this thing. Fill this up, I don't know how many times. Okay, so in comparison, this is the old one. I don't know how many ounces this is. It's like six cups or something. And then this is the new one. So you see how much of a difference that is? My orthodontist already messaged me back and she said that my teeth are tracking nicely. I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm just gonna have to like throw that coffee out because I need to go ahead and put these in because it's been probably over two hours, honestly. <laughs> I'm in my office. Um, Something that I have been struggling with, y'all, is actually coming into this office because I absolutely hate the space. It's not very, it's too crowded. I'm not inspired in here. So, last year, it's been so long since I've had start taking my grass wall down because I'm like, okay, I'm over it. I want to do something else. I want to revamp my entire office because I was just over it. But I really don't know what I'm going to do to that wall. So I haven't finished taking all of the grass down. But I did um, get rid of like that gold clothing rack thing. Um, I got rid of that because I initially had it in here. Because I felt like I was going to be doing like stuff for YouTube. Um, involving like trying on clothes and hauls and stuff like that. But that never really stuck. Um, so it was time to get rid of that. I got rid of that. Um, I did not want to have exercise equipment in here. I wanted to put it in the garage, but for now it's in here. So I have a treadmill in here, as you can see, and then treadmill over there. That's kind of being used as a like storage hanger thing. Um, and then I also have my bike over here that I just got in from Yeso, I think that's what it is. We've had it for probably a few weeks. Um, so that's in here. But since having that bike in here, I did conclude that I do want to keep the exercise equipment in here because this thing has came in handy so much for us because um, as you know, I'm currently like on this health journey thing or whatever this year I said I was going to be making my health a priority so my skin my teeth my weight all of that um I don't know I just felt like let me just do this because I just had like a whole bunch of stuff um I just I just feel like I never just feel like a hundred percent great any day so it, it initially started with me like getting blood work and stuff um and i did come back to be like anemic so i got on like iron supplements and you guys know that i have been struggling with like migraines um but i completely took myself off of my migraine medication because i didn't want to be like on a whole bunch of medications and plus the medication that i was on you know it caused so much brain fog and i just hated the way that that made me feel especially working in accounting i'm just always being extra cautious when at work because I just felt like it's so easy to like transpose numbers not you know it's too risky I felt like and it made me work extra three times as hard actually being on that medicine because I have to like make myself think clearly and make sure I'm not making any mistakes so like I hated that medicine y'all so I took myself completely off of it and I did start taking magnesium for my migraines um, and then I also am on my iron supplements then as you guys know um, for my skin I'm on two different types of medication so it's just like I need to get all of this resolving under control this year because it's like I've been dealing with my skin for ever since I moved down to Houston when I left my dermatologist like I've been having skin issues. I don't know if it's because of stress from, you know, me moving my whole new life. But my skin has just been out of control literally since I moved to Houston. I think it was one point where it was good and then it just flared back up. So that's something that I've really been wanting to just address and tackle. So I'm doing that. 
I'm losing weight. I'm just tired of being, I gained so much weight probably within the last two years, a year or two. I gained so much weight. Literally since I started the job that I'm at, I feel like I just put on so much weight. Like, I don't know if it's because I was stressed, depressed. I don't know. I put on so much weight, so I'm like, the weight wasn't coming off either. That's the thing. Um, it wasn't like I had started eating more, but it's just like I was just retaining so much weight and I couldn't get it off. I started, you know, getting on this weight loss journey. So I'm glad that I got that bike for that as well. And then also Charles is currently in physical therapy. I don't know if I like formally told you YouTube, um, but if you're on Instagram, then I posted it like when it happened and a lot of people reached out. But Charles tore his Achilles um, a couple of months ago. So he had to have surgery and all of that. He's currently in physical therapy and part of his physical therapy, um, he has to do like exercise at home too so at physical therapy they actually have him do the bike for a certain amount of time so it's been perfect for us having this bike here because when he has to do his exercises at home we have a bike with this bike um it is very similar to you know a well-known bike but for literally a fraction of the price and it has like all of these great features that we absolutely love it has the big screen and it rotates out so you can like literally get off of your bike and do exercises as well. Um, it does have an app where you can do like instructor led classes. Um, it has so many great features y'all and we absolutely love it because like I said I use it, Charles uses it and even Dallas uses it as well. Um, so we're kind of like eye on this little health kick thing or whatever right now for 2024 um, we've changed our eating habits so i didn't even get to tell you guys about that because dallas um his blood work came back and he has high cholesterol so we initially were just you know getting dallas to change his eating habits but it's so much easier for us all to change our eating habits instead of dallas having to feel like he's missing out on what we're eating and and you know just having to buy different things for Dallas to eat versus what we eat so we literally all have pretty much gotten on board eating healthier um because of Dallas's high cholesterol um so yeah that's another thing that we've been doing so he's been exercising I've been exercising Charles has been exercising uh so we're just all trying to be healthy and fit but part of that um I think it'd be easier for me to want to be in here and easier for us to possibly work out together is if I had this office organized. So instead of me completely changing the office, I'm just rearranged some stuff. So this is currently how my office is set up. Um, I hated that my computer was facing the window. So I got it like in the middle of the floor. Now I have the treadmill and I have the bike. So with the bike, since it has its own screen and you're really like doing app exercises you know through the app i don't feel like i need to be watching tv but with my treadmill being right here i still have access to view my screen right here so i can watch netflix i can watch youtube i can watch whatever i want on this screen right here on my desk all I do is just kind of like just tilt it like that and I can be on the treadmill watching it so and if y'all see white right here this is actually medicine on my face so I'm about to just try to clean and tidy up the office in here because I've been like putting that off okay girls day out we're here picking up my mom and she needs to run some errands like run, go do some shopping so Berkeley and I are going with her oh yeah she getting her handicap yes i'm driving so she had always for me handicap Daddy! berkeley is so excited to see her oh granny Daddy! berkeley said that i said something about granny she said granny is a granny grandma those are the kinds that you sticks to walk. <laughs> Daddy, uh, look what I got. What you got, Mama? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. 
She was saving it so she could show you. Oh, you got the pop. The pop thing. Cake pop. Yes. It's going to mix in the door. Okay, Berkeley, I told you you left your coloring books. Yes. Oh, that going to make this man. Alright, so where you want to go first? Yeah. 